Good morning. It is 3.09 in the morning. And I'm sad about being awake. <laughs> Uh, but, I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, John got to sleep in this morning. Uh, we are headed to Vancouver, Canada to go to the sit up and sh sit up, sit up, shut up and sit down uh, board game expo, also known as Shucks. And I'm pretty excited. So, this is a, there is a um, YouTube group who does board game reviews that are from the UK and we have been watching them for like seven plus years now and um, a few years ago I am red because the car in front of us has stopped we were at a light ah! <laughs> ghosts there's a demon <laughs> um, they started doing a board game convention five years ago now and we they did it two years in a row in Vancouver and we couldn't go because I think we were on vacation both both years. And then uh, the pandemic hit and they did it online for two years. And it's the first one back in person again. And we are going on vacation in a few weeks. So we actually get to go this time. So we're pretty excited. Um, but it starts at eight o'clock in the morning in yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. So uh, hence the early morning, I've already been up for over an hour, which is complete nonsense. Um, so anyway, I just want to kick off the vlog. We're getting on the freeway. Oh, it's a, it's a clover leaf. Um, actually, it's not. Seems sick. I don't know. That means what you think it means. No, a clover leaf interchange. It, this one isn't. No, but that's a that's a thing. That is a thing. Let's see what I have to put up with. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. We are almost to the border crossing, but we stopped to go to Starbucks because I needed to pee, honestly, actually. But we're, we're literally a mile from the border. This is gonna be the nicest Starbucks I've ever seen. Look at this. It has... There's a lighthouse. There's a lighthouse. It says... Lighthouse keepers only. Lighthouse keepers only. Here, let me flip you. That, that one's mine if you wanna. I got a honey citrus mint tea because it sounded good. Like, this is it's oh, so nice. it's so pretty. It's so cute. The town of Blaine is really really cute. I had no idea. Yeah, this is this is the outside of the Starbucks. This is obviously the backside, but like it has a beautiful courtyard, a lighthouse. It is super pretty. So you know. Like my eyes. <laughs> All right, catch you from the border crossing. It's the Peace Arch. Peace. <laughs> Speed bump. Ooh. That's fine. All right, we have made it into Canada. What are you doing? It was the border crossing guy was not friendly. I'm guessing he was the overnight guy and he was towards the end of his shift. Yeah, uh, not friendly. Like. So we answered a bunch of questions about like where we were going, why, why we're like where we're staying. Um, he, we told him we're here for a board game convention. He's like, well, when does it start? We were like eight, eight o'clock this morning. And he's like, well, what are you doing for the next two and a half hours? And we were like, getting breakfast. <laughs> well, where are you getting breakfast? It's like a random place we found on Yelp. Like, <laughs> are people not allowed to just like hang out in Vancouver? Like. Uh, I'm sorry, you've spent 15 minutes unattended, not doing a scheduled thing. We're kicking you out of the country. Yeah, you need yeah. to leave now. He was surly and... Um, Apparently I mumbled just like him. Yeah, he mumbled so bad that Jonathan wasn't even realizing he was asking questions. So I had to be like, what was that? Because <laughs> he asked a question and, he, and Jonathan wasn't responding and I was like, I don't think he even heard him. So I had to like turn the air off on the car, had to, yeah. It, and he got, he was like, every time we had to ask him to repeat himself, he was super annoyed. So, but we made it. We, we were... So Wood we, on a car. Remember when that was a thing? Yes. We just got passed by a minivan uh, that has wood paneling on it. Um, we are crossing into Canada from New York in a few weeks. And I, I'm nervous about using our Washington State enhanced IDs to get in 
from there because I don't know how comfortable they'll be with IDs that they probably don't see super often. And so I was like and debating. You know, she looks sketchy. Clearly. I have had issues at airports. I have had like pulled it's it's pulled there. into interrogation rooms in like the bowels of air, the airport in Ireland. Um, anyway, I was planning on asking the border crossing guy like, hey, so we're going to be going into Canada from New York in a few weeks. Do you think our Washington IDs will be good? Or should we just bring our passports to be safe? I was like, never mind. We're not asking this guy any questions. I, I, I think he would have just shot me. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've crossed the border here. I mean, not tons of times, but like quite a few times. This is like my fifth or sixth time into Vancouver. Are and guns a thing in Canada? No, not really. Just throw maple syrup at people. <laughs> I'm allergic! <laughs> um... And they've candy. always been super friendly. I've never... <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's probably American. Got stuck on the Canadian side. He didn't say a eh, one time. So, uh, we're just going to bring our passports when we go to Vancouver. Or not to Vancouver, to Niagara Falls. Because I, I didn't want to ask this guy. And I don't want to risk getting there and then being like, what is this? What is this driver's license nonsense? So... They don't really enforce things it's because I'm getting past like a mile. Yeah, we got into the country and it said that um, traffic laws are enforced by camera, so we're like not speeding at all, and we are a stone in a river essentially. <laughs> so, fun, fun. Hey, John. What's up? How do you know when you're in Canada? When the buses apologize for not being in service. We've had like four buses go past us, and they're all like, sorry not in service <laughs> and we're like oh yeah yeah we're in Canada now <laughs> excuse me they all say sorry wait for it Here it not comes. in service wait oh sorry <laughs> not in service uh my my camera does not allow me to just like flip it around so sorry for that quick like twist but uh everybody twist. just threw up yes maybe I'll put a warning if you're prone to motion sickness look away now Anyway. For all of our viewers. Yeah. All, all four of you. All four of you. <laughs> Maybe five. Uh, okay, anyway. We thought that was funny. <laughs> we made it. Woohoo. Uh, I'm going to flip you guys around. Wait till you see this. These are all games that are available to be played over the weekend. Like, not to buy, just to borrow and play. It's happening! What does it mean? Because we've seen a lot of me already. So, what have we done so far? We watched the opening ceremony, which was less ceremony before just opening and then we watched a live podcast from the shut up and sit down crew and it was awesome yep and now we are getting lunch at a, at a pub we're both fish and chips <laughs> on deck yeah uh, uh we're both very tired so yes. <laughs> this is low energy <laughs> <laughs> i feel a little bad um i'm they, the, when we got to this restaurant, they were like, okay, have a seat outside. So we thought that was the only place to sit. And I was kind of cold. And then by the time we figured out we could move, it got awkward because it was like our waitress was walking up to order. So Jonathan offered to go and get my sweater. It took like 10 or 15 minutes for a waitress to come take her order. And he ordered and then like left. And so we thought there'd be plenty of time because our hotel's like a block or two from here. And then, like, three minutes later, our food arrived. Like, <laughs> like before our drinks got here. So now his food is sitting here, getting cold. I've already tried it. It's delicious. And uh, he's nowhere to be found. But um, he got, let me show you. He got fish and chips. And I haven't tried the fish yet, but the um, fries are delicious. So um, I hope he gets back before they're soggy because they are real good right now. And then I got some butter chicken. Yeah. You guys, yeah, yeah, it's blind a date with a book, but with board games, and I am 
so in love with this idea. We didn't just have to make up a way to make this run just before we got in here. Um, <laughs> hi, <laughs> I'm your host today. I didn't know that half an hour. So John and I are getting some coffee. Because, uh, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and afternoon coffee had to happen today. Not normally, but yeah, today today was necessary. But um, I'm just going to like right over there are some people. They like they just led the panel that we were on or not on but at. It was fun. Played wavelength. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying not to be like a total like fan girl. We let them have coffee in peace. There's a meet and greet tomorrow. Tomorrow? I think tomorrow. 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 Later on. <laughs> so right now they're they're having coffee in peace despite the fact that I'm like secretly like oh, they're right over there. <laughs> also, this is our view oh, there it is. See that from our at the cafe end. table like. It is really pretty here. Say hello to the giant cruise ship. <laughs> giant cruise ship. There's another one on the other side of the building. They've both been here all day. Yeah, uh, the harbor here is just beautiful. Tons of seaplanes going in and out. A whole like airport for them, not just like a dock. Yeah, really pretty. I love it. <laughs> there we go. So how was dinner? What'd you get? Tacos. Tacos, tacos. Tacos, tacos, tacos. Yeah. Oh, siren. What's the sign of sirens? Uh, what has been your favorite part of today so far? Uh, mothership. RSPC. Tell me about it. It's a lot. Well, I'm not saying going into details, but like, what? So what? What was the panel like? It's a live playthrough of a. Mothership Sci-Fi RPG with audience participation and it was very entertaining. Yeah, the DM was the best DM I've ever seen. He was super funny, like really clever. Thank you. Uh, we, we were in charge, that we the audience were in charge of making all the sound effects for various things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. So now what are we doing after dinner? Watching a live playthrough of Entertainment Conditions. And what is that? Uh, a game where you have to find out if the contestants are robots. Yeah, it's based on Turing Test. Yes. Yeah. Blade Runner. I was gonna say Blade Runner, and then I was like, is that is that it? Because then I was like, is it Sling Blade? Because I can't. It's not Sling Blade. <laughs> fried potatoes. <laughs> I've never actually seen Flink Blade. I just know Billy Bob says French fried <laughs> So yes, after dinner that is what we are doing and it's gonna be fun. Alright. Bye. Uh so what do you what do you have here? On the one hand I have regrets. On the other hand, <laughs> I should. What what is it? Hedgehog pie. And what and what is hedgehog pie? Ice cream. So it's like latte ice cream, hazelnut ice cream, espresso ice cream, on a Nutella crust, on an espresso crust, on an espresso crust, with Nutella, okay. Things so, are happening. <laughs> things are happening. All right, verdict. Hello. <laughs> it's going in. <laughs> so, uh, tell me. How was how was the dessert? Really good. You guys. Excellent. Maybe one of the best things I've ever eaten. It tasted like an ice cream version of a Ferrero Rocher, which sounds like it would be a lot. But it was like the flavor was intense without being super rich. It was sweet, but not sickly so. It was, it was so good. I have to figure out if this is like a Canadian dessert and I can find a recipe. I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to make three different kinds of ice cream, but here we are. Oh man, Vancouver sure are pretty.
Thank you.